Mm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Maze Night. This is round one of a test game playing Shades of Tesla, Life and Death, using my custom Mage Knights, the Necromancer and the Dryad. So uh, let's get into this. Okay, so he gets his first turn. One, two, three. Nice. Now it is the Necro's turn. Okay, so I guess we'll go just just I think we'll just go two. Just get into here. I'll do for his turn. And now we're drawing up to six cards. Now this bloke here. We want to try and pump out as much as we can here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go four. Now this one is one of my new cards. This is his movement card, which has, if we pay blue, it's move four. Move costs of forests are reduced by two to a minimum of one. If you move through two forests this turn, gain a blue mana token. So this is based upon this guy's card here. So basically all my skills and cards are sort of like modified versions of existing ones to try and help me with balance. But I think this might be too powerful. What I might actually do is I'll make it two during the night or one. I can get rid of the minimum of one now. I'll just try this. So during the day it's minus one and during the night it's minus two. Anyway, whatever. The point is we're paying four. So he can go one, two, three, four, five into the village. I think he'll, I think I'll just spend this one. So that's four, five, six we've done. So that is one, two, three, four, five. And we can't explore. Feels like it's a waste not to explore. I'll also do this and explore. So that's four, five, six, seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay, so that's another castle. Boring tile. And that's him done. So dummy player. One, two, three. If it's blue, so let's draw two more cards. And it's back to the Necro. I uh, forgot to flip that guy over. Oh, he's nasty. Let's draw to six. Okay, so what have we got here? We do have this thing. So that's four to get in. Then we have block. How much do we need to kill him? We need six to kill him, don't we? Four, three, four, five. Yeah, so we're gonna have to take all this damage. The other option is we just come in here and see what else is happening. I think that might be the way to go. So I'm gonna put this back. Oop. Shit, I just threw, threw my cards off the table. We'll have a look at him later. Uh, I'm just going to spend the four and go in here, and that's going to reveal this one. Now, remember, this isn't a rampaging guy, so he does not attack us. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what he's got. Okay. Okay. 
No, I don't think I'm up for killing all these guys. It'd be nice. Cause I do get a lot of my healing back. Problem is, this bloke here's got vampire, vampiric, whatever it's called. So we have to block him. So that's four. And if we don't block him, we take a lot of damage. So this is going to give us six damage. So that guy alone will knock us out. So yeah, it's just really harsh getting the the glades and the opening hand. So I guess he's going to go in here and try and kill this guy. So what have we got? We need movement. Uh, I'll just go... Five movement. That gets me here. Oh wait. You know what I should do? I should before I should have just plunder that village as well. Gives another two cards. Okay, so I'm going to go bam, I'm going to go white, take two reds, I'm going to go bam, I'm going to go bam, that gets in there, let's draw a fact, uh, dungeon tile, we draw a normal dungeon tile, blip, Okay, so that's seven. There's no way we can block that because it's got fast. So that's one, two, four, six, eight. It's four wounds. And then we need five to kill. So that's four, five. And that guy is dead. That gives him five, so boom, goes up to here, and we level up. We also did a dungeon, so we get to roll the dungeon die. Le blamo, le blamo, gives us an artifact. Oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, two of the, the endless gem pouch is just like the necromancer's best card. That's really unfortunate. Uh, he's going to take Druidic Staff. Oh, I can't, it's hard to give up on this one. Hey, I'm just going to take Endless Gems. I, I just This one has plus three healing, which is freaking awesome, which is good because we just got a lot of wounds. And with all the Glades being taken up by all those monsters, it's hard to get control of the Glades and get a lot of free healing. So... I don't know if I can just, I can't go past the gem pouch though. We also level up. Um, I'm going to take Rush of Adrenaline. And, oh, I have to, sh oh, it's been shuffled. So five and six came out. Five is flip, take two elemental faction tokens. That's option one if you're using Tesla expansion or it's pay one mana to heal one. You may heal from your discard pile. We are using the Tesla expansion. So I'm gonna use the Tesla one. Uh, and six is heal one plus gain a blue or green mana token. I think I'm gonna take the heal because I tend to get a lot of damage. <laughs> All right, and that's the end of his turn. It's now the dummy again. One, two. Okay, let's draw up to six.
So this guy, he has brutal. One, two, three, we get in. We need seven to kill. That's five, six, seven. And this thing gives us the two red die. So we get two wounds for each attack. Oh, wait, this will knock us out, won't it? Yeah, this will knock us out. So two wounds for each attack doubled is eight wounds. So we'll actually get this guy. So that's three, which means we get three wounds and it's poison. So we get three wounds go into our discard pile. And we still need the six damage so let me just check this five attack six seven attack move in yeah so i should have moved in last turn whatever's still we get five we get a faction hit we get to choose a spell We'll take offering. We'll take this crystal generator and we'll draw our skills. We have six and eight. Six is also the Tesla expansion one and eight is, ah, we'll take eight. So create tokens. So eight is flip, create a basic mana token and a black mana token. Okay, we're back to the Dryad. Dropped five cards. He's gonna go blam and blam. We'll take a red token. Plus, we get to roll the dice twice. Gives us a green and a black, so we get a green, and I think the black is plus fame, isn't it? Black is plus fame. One, two, three, four, five. We've also got the heal here. So I'm just gonna flip that and do a heal. We get a mana token, but it's just discarded, so that's fine. Okay, this guy rolls, one, two, three. Oh, we're almost at the end of the turn. Okay, we have a faction guy here. Is there anyone that we can buy? No, there's just these, mate, these guys here, which I can't afford because I haven't got the crystal gen up. Oh, I do have my crystal gen, actually. What's this thing do? He, uh, blue or green? Ah, look. So three tokens are unusable. So that means I get to re-roll these. That's that uh, ultra-friendly mana rule, rule that I play. Ah, much better. So I'm going to go blam. I'm going to go blam. And that is heal two. Let's get rid of that. He still can't do anything. Better just put his marker down. Uh, 
he's just going to do a slow heal and he's going to declare the end of the turn. Drop to six. Okay, let's see if we can get this done. Firstly, we'll just do a heal. We will also do an offering. Gain a red crystal to your inventory. You may discard up to three non-wound cards from your hand. For each card discarded, gain a crystal of the matching color. We have three cards. So we get a two whites and a green. And that is the end of that. This bloke's turn. Uh, what have we got here? We've got his influence card. I'm going to play this and draw a card. So this is his rejuvenate card, basically a version of, it's a version of uh, this card here, basically. And one of the things it does do is it allows you to draw a card. So draw one card. And there's the other influence. Excellent. So... We're going to go one, two. Three, four. Let me see, what is in here to buy? Village five, village five. I think I'm going to take the guardsman. So we need to produce five. We can easily produce that with this guy alone. Or like this. So I can do that. Like so, and like, oops, like so. Okay, so that's four move. That gets us into here. We only need three. I'm then using this to produce a red token, which I then do five, six, seven influence. And I'll do this one as move. Okay. So that's four, five, six move. So that's one, two, three. Four, five. Okay, so this is in the middle section, so we're good to roll the faction token. Now, some people roll the faction token for the whole tile. I like to roll it for individual spots. So this guy is a elementalist. And the last of these ones, all the glades came out early, is a... Necromantic. That's four, five, six, and now we're doing five, six, seven to get the guardsman. And that gives us my negative one. Yeah, so this was actually a really bad turn. What I should have done is done the six move as normal. So we do four move with the gold and then two move with swiftness. And then I only needed five influence to actually be able to buy this unit, right? So promise has four influence. So I could have paid for promise using the concentration that would give me the four. And then I can just pay the remaining influence using threaten, but not actually paying the, the mana cost, which means I don't get the reputation hit. So yeah, that was uh, not very well done. <laughs> and that's the end of the round. So 
this slides off. This thing goes in here and we add a white crystal. Then rebuild the offer. Reroll the dice. Shuffle the decks. And change it to night. That, my friends, is the end of the first round. Wasn't too great a round. Uh, this guy is in here, by the way. What have we got? You can buy a Guardian. That would be nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Okay. I'll just uh, do the opening salvo. So we're going to shuffle this. Dummy chooses first. He gets meditation. That's annoying. Draw five. Draw five. Uh, draw five. So I had that set to six from before. Now, this guy wants to buy that thing straight away. So basically. I think his choice is he's going to take preparation. And he's going to take this guy. So that's five. Still need another two, don't we? Yeah. So that's what he's going to do. Shuffle that. And this bloke is going to take the standard mana search. So this changes the order from Necro is last, Dummy is second, Dryad is first. So it goes Dryad, Dummy, and White. And there we go. So we're ready to go. I'm just going to save this as YouTube R2 and uh, get all this editing done and I'll come back and do the rest later. Hope you enjoyed that. I will see you guys next time.